I have bug spray all over my face, so ignore that. Anyway, I found this place on Google Earth. I was looking on the map and there was this structure in the woods. There's a main road right there. And then there's all these woods. And I saw a structure in the woods. So I decided to check it out. And then I went around a little corner and there it is. There's actually something there. And it looks so cool and has so much potential. And it's all covered in vegetation. It's kind of in a little clearing, but I'm excited. And I really hope it's not a disappointment, but there is a house of some sort over there. And we're gonna at least try to check it out. It looks really old and really cool. So yeah, I started walking this way and I was like, there's supposed to be a house right here. And then I turn the corner and look. What is that? I have no idea what this is. I just really hope nobody's living inside of it. What is it? Okay, I have to take pictures, hold on. So much for me watching me through that window. I love that huge bay window right there. At least my exterior shots of this place will be cool. I will have gotten some good photographs of the actual house. I'm seriously convinced somebody's in there watching me, waiting for me to enter. You have to admit, it's kind of a creepy house. And there's a little porch, I think. What is that? Oh my God. Please let this be empty of people but not of cool things. <laughs> I can always run to the street, down that steep cliff, break my ankle. Okay, we need a way in. Check it out, that's an old swing set tipped over. There's the teeter-totter. It's a swing set. I don't see the swings. There's like a toy airplane and there's an Agatha Christie book and there's bristle blocks. There's 80s toys in this dump. There's an Sesame Street, I was gonna say Oscar the Grouch, Sesame Street comforter. And this little toy post office and Agatha Christie, Nemesis. still clothes in this closet that caught fire what's the album come from the ring captain and Tennille. huh
These are bristle blocks. They still sell these, so I'm sure you all know what they do. But if you don't, you can build things kind of like Legos there, bristle blocks. And then Sesame Street comforter. Easy chair, not so easy anymore. Look at this towel, still hung. Look how clean that towel looks because this drop ceiling dropped. And so it prevented it from getting faded because that's a clean towel. Look at that toilet paper dispenser. Look at it. <gasps> Look at it. It's like little gears. Oh my God. That is so cool. It's this, I mean, I say this word a lot. It's an ornate toilet paper roll holder. That's so cool. In the medicine cabinet. Oh my. Look at that. Chlortrimaton. I don't think they still make chlortime chlortrimaton. Well, if I fall down, I got ace bandages and curad band-aids. I don't think they make orison. Oh my god. Oh, look at this attic. I didn't even notice that. Is this one of those things you, yeah. Be, oh, look at it. What? It's, it's a bellows, that's what it's called, right? That you pump to fan the flames of a fire. Well, <laughs> looks like it worked. Was, did someone use this to make the fire happen worse? But look at it. It's like a, a noble. It's like a knight. It's like a Spamalot bellows. That is cool as fuck. lantern maybe that's what caught fire maybe this caused all this you never know that might not be a joke I'll look at the the posts on the headboard oh you know what I think this goes right here And that is going to make a nice picture. Yeah. Awesome. Oh, the dice. What game is it from? Let's play our own game. If this is a six, if I roll a six. I'm going to find a really, really cool retro toy in this house. Oh, okay. Three tries. That was one. Yes. I'm finding a really cool retro toy. Well, found Mickey Mouse's hand. That's Mickey Mouse's hand, right? To like a Mickey Mouse version of Mr. Potato Head. What is this? This is something. I think it... I think... Wait. Did 
Does that go in there? Yes. What is this? It's a toy that I don't know. Why? Why is it doing that? What is that? I gotta find more pieces. I'm on a mission now. I added more to my bristle blocks and I set up that area. I took pictures. I put that awesome lamp, check this out. That was on the floor. That could have caused the fire. I love how the shade has worn off. I closed the curtains to minimize glare and to see the hanging lamp better. And I set up the stereo. There it is. Complete with the Captain and Tennille record. Oh, look. It's the silverware. I always check for like, sometimes they have a collectible. Like, remember how they'd have like a fork that would have like Mickey Mouse or some character, a like cookie monster on, on the base of it? I don't know. We used to have them. I always look to see. I pulled that out more for a picture. Okay. Let's see what this toy airplane is in here. Oh my God, there's two of them. What is this? Oh my God. What is it? Oh, it's just a toy airplane, but it's it's kind of cool retro. It's missing a wheel. It's a very generic airplane. And, ooh, it's the Challenger. Well, here's my, here's my imitation of the Challenger. Sorry, Kristen McAuliffe. That was awful. I'm so sorry. I remember when the Challenger exploded and everyone in my class the next day, they made the joke, what does NASA stand for? Need another seven astronauts. I am full of offensive Challenger jokes today. Why did I have to find a Challenger? You made me do this. You made me make offensive Challenger jokes. There's two more and I'm not gonna make them. So I'm not that insensitive. Now that's vintage. Well, actually, it's probably meant to look vintage, but it's not. Does it still? Yep. It's a dump truck. It dumps. I have to do this with one hand, but that's kind of fun. <laughs> it's like a fidget toy. Only for me. Because I invented it. Is there anything else in this? room that looked like it would be boring but it had three cool toys in it hold on that's a stuffed animal i want to see it that's a a teething ring and then there's a bunch of linens I want to see what stuffed animal that is. Hold on. Perfect. We can use this curtain rod. Oh wait, it rattles. Look at its pretty blue eyes. It probably has 20, 30 year old baby drool all over it. Put it there for the photograph I'm gonna take of it. Okay, I have to open this side. Oh, it won't open. Oh.
I think it's, oh, it's stuck. I think it's, oh, I don't know. I think it's off the track. Oh, blankets. Boring. I thought that was going to be a wow moment. Private papers. Uh, don't touch the pillow. Don't touch the pillow. I'm touching it. Ew. Oh, ooh. Sky Rider. It's one of those styrofoam planes. The kids here, or the kid here, really liked airplanes, huh? Airplanes and spaceships. I put all that there for the picture. Pretty cool, huh? Oh, I gotta add the sacrificial lamb. There. Super sound, does it still work? I don't want to find out. I'm not pressing it. Yeah. No. Oh, I need a hacksaw. And what's a toothbrush doing there? Oh, look, a mirror. Hey, what's up? Maybe all this bad electrical wiring was the culprit. What does that even lead to? I think it leads to the, oh, it leads to nothing. I thought it was the stereo, but maybe this caused the fire. There's so many culprits. There's this, that could have caused the fire. That could have tipped over. That lamp, this bellows, I set that up for a picture. All these things could be guilty. Or this faulty electric blanket. That's what it was. We found the culprit. I'm not even kidding. It was the faulty electric blanket. Never use an electric blanket. They are deadly. I've never had one and I've never wanted one because they're so dangerous. My sister had one. Well, at least they had it on low. But that's it. You did it. Oh, what's in here? There's things in here. What? It's garbage, but it's vintage garbage. Look at me. I'm rooting through the garbage. Maybe... It was this lamp. Maybe that caused the fire and that's why they threw it out. Look at that. That is a lamp. Come on, you gotta be set up for a picture. You're, you can't be ignored. Stop rooting through the garbage, you, you sicko. Ugh. I've stooped so low. The Vermont Atlas and Gaze Gazetteer. Gazetteer. I've never heard it called a Gazetteer. Dude, stop rooting through the garbage. Okay, I'm stopping for real. I just realized there's an entire room we haven't even gone in yet. Probably because it's got, oh, it's got a baby crib. That's freaking creepy as hell. Look, it's in this little alcove. That's where the baby was. 
Oh, I hope the baby got out of the fire. Oh, that is insanely creepy. I don't like that at all. I mean, I love it, but I also hate it. Shed a little light on that. I had to, this entire piece of, um, what's it called? Whatever, it was <laughs> um, covering this entire floor. So I had to prop it up and that took an unusually long time. And I found this cool rocking chair that I'm gonna set up for a picture with this matching magazine rack. But let's check out the creepy ass baby crib. Is that, what is this? What's this? Oh my God. It's the Pied Piper coloring book, but it's eaten by, by things, by critters. That's awesome. But what is this? I thought it was Wonder Woman. It's something, oh, and there's Ernie. It's an Ernie puzzle. We got to find the rest of Ernie. I gotta make the Ernie puzzle. Oh my God, there's toys in here, gross. Stop picking through the baby crib, just stop. Let it go. You, you, can, you can do without the toys for once if it means picking through a potentially dead baby crib. Look at the hula hoop. Nobody's hula hooping today. Oh, stop it. I'm, you're killing me. You're killing me, me. You need to be beaten with this giant wiffle ball bat that looks like a caveman's club in the baby crib. Would they beat the baby to death? Like, they're like, go to bed, you stupid baby. I am just full of insensitivity and offense today. I don't know what that is. It's something that you blow it up. It's a canoe. It's a canoe. Okay. I solved the mystery. Is Bert's head, the top of Bert's head. Okay, I'm gonna stop, maybe. You guys, I lied when I said I was gonna stop picking through this crib and I found the shoes. I found the shoes to that weird toy, that Mr. Potato Head-like toy. And the box to the puzzle. Why does Bert have a spatula or a spoon on his nose oh it's pin they're playing pin the tail on the donkey and ernie accidentally pinned the tail on bert's nose that's adorable that ernie always up to shenanigans Now I'm really done. Oh, it's an N. I'm like, I see a toy. Oh, it's, oh. This is the back. This is, this goes to the Fisher Price school. It's got a chalkboard on the back. See? Why is the chalkboard blue? I don't know. Anyway, or it's just the magnet board, but this goes to either the Fisher Price school or the Fisher Price desk. They both had this letter this letter tray see fisher price oh my god these are hard to come by there's the d 
Stop doing this. This is disgusting. What is that? That, that was like a ball. Oh, there's the Grover puzzle. I saw all these Grover pieces. And that's why. Looks like Pac-Man. Okay. It's, I thought you could go around. But what's on the other side of that? I don't know what that is. It's funny. Sometimes there are toys that I don't know. This looks like a generic kind of toy though. Ah, fake linoleum. Yellow brick road linoleum. Oh, matchbox car. Yes. See if I keep picking, I find the stuff. Oh my God, it's a transformer. Oh my God. Oh my God, it's a classic transformer. Is it an Autobot or a Decepticon? Let's find out. You put your finger, look at my, sorry about my nails. I'm so sorry. It is, it's an Autobot, no wait. Yeah, that's an Autobot, right? Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, to find out, it's kind of like a mood ring. If you don't know, you, you got to um, rub this with your finger to figure out if it's an Autobot or a Decepticon. I am so taking that. That's awesome. That was the wow factor of the day. For me, a classic vintage Transformer, it's like a military tank. We gotta figure out how to transform that. And a propeller. And this little teddy bear. I don't wanna dig through all this gross, grossness. Okay. Oh. Okay, so that's what it looks like in its car form. It's a little military tank. I think you can... Oh, I thought it, it might be a pullback racer, but I don't know. Ooh, there goes the lamp. Anyway, that's, that's what it looks like as a car. And now I will transform it into a robot. Maybe. <laughs> this was much easier a minute ago. Off camera. Okay, there's his little arms. And I thought it, this would swing out, but this stays like that. And there's his face, and there's his arms. And he's ready to fight. This is a really kind of boring one. I think this should flip and there should be legs there. It goes like that, but he doesn't have legs. He still looks like a car. He looks like a car with arms and a head. There should be legs there, but it does not flip out. Like these don't flip and turn into legs. But there you go, classic 80s transformer. I don't even think half these pieces belong to this toy. 
I don't think that that's the right head. I don't think this goes to it. I don't know what's going on, but I just invented my own toy. I literally made that up out of spare toy parts. Maybe it does go together because it seems to be, and it, and it dings. Okay, I gotta stop with that. <laughs> okay, so I set up a bunch of things. I set up the magazine rack next to the chair with the Pied Piper. I set up this. The rocking chair with the bellows, this old witch's broom, put some of the stuffed animals on the rocking chair. And the toy shelf. I'm gonna add more to that. Oh my God. Speaking of toys, oh my God, another one. And this one isn't missing the wheel. Okay, we got another addition. I will arrange that better in a minute. But what else is under this disgusting blanket? A really old vacuum cleaner. I have one of my COVID-19 masks on because this place is absolutely disgusting to breathe in. Ooh, I almost fell through the floor. Well, first of all, there's popcorn. Oh, there's the kitchen. I was just gonna say there's no kitchen in here. And there's the kitchen, okay. Let's put the popcorn on the stove because I also found, this is the Fisher Price milk bottle it's the chocolate one oh it used to be the fisher price milk bottle the chocolate one not anymore oh look anyone need a can opener a bottle opener a wine bottle opener or a peeler potato peeler I'm not touching the toothbrush. Ooh, yeah, this floor is no fun. This is a seashell. Help me, stereo. Ooh. There's our kitchen. Oh, this plate still in there. Oh, any good mugs? Let's find out. Let's fall through the floor and find out. And I'm not even kidding. Oh, there are good mugs. Oh, what's that one? What is it? What is that one? Not, not you. This one. Oh, it's just a baby sippy cup. And it, it can't fall. It's like a weeble. Pretty cool though. Cool retro. It's cool purple. Or that's orchid. Or thistle. Thistle or orchid. Those are cool. Those are awesome. Look at the color scheme. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. I love these two colors together. That chartreuse and this blue. Added with that auburn brown color. Pretty cool. Look at that picture. Oh, look at the that's a cool picture.
This house is awesome. It's disgusting, but I love it. I'm going to put the popcorn up here to make people wonder why it's there in the picture. Why haven't I looked at this yet? Magic paper. Is that the um 68 cents at Kmart? Yeah, you have the pen and you that's New York. Rub the magic state. And words and pictures appear when you use the magic pen on it. They still have these, so I'm sure you already knew that. Rub the magic state. It's California. I wish I had the magic pen. That would be cool. I didn't even look all the way in the shower stall and it's got old school flex. That is the bottle from my childhood. And if you got that in your eye, flex stung 10 times worse than all other shampoos. Flex and Clairol conditioning shampoo. Oh, that was so, it, and it, um, if you didn't completely wash it off, it, it irritated your skin, but it smelled, I liked the smell though. That's hilarious, Flex. They might still make it, but the bottle, that's the bottle I remember. For a small shower stall, they have the regular shower head and then the massager. It's a lot going on for this small little space. <laughs> oh my God, behind this door is a closet that we have to get to. Sorry about the filming, okay. Ah, oh, crap, nothing. Nothing interesting, except contact paper and easy off. Wait, what is on the other side of this? Oh, it's that little room. It's this room. I just lifted up this and found the Boston Sunday Globe from April 23rd, 1989. Calvin and Hobbes, my favorite. He needs to start writing that again. The Boston Globe was only $1.25. I think it's like, actually nobody gives a shit about the Boston Globe anymore because internet exists. Robot Man. I had a Robot Man piggy bank. Arlo and Janice. Ask Shag. I used to love Ask Shag. What does it mean when a dog wags his tail? What are you, stupid? That is a stupid question. Boston Sunday Globe. Okay, I'm ready to leave because of the black mold and asbestos in here, but I forgot about the attic. So I really hope it doesn't have anything cool in it. Oh good, it doesn't, because I have to go. But there's the attic, in case you wondered. I didn't forget it. Okay, I can get off the rotted sink and dangerous toilet and I can conclude, there's my Diet Coke. I didn't find that in here. <laughs> okay, this house was awesome. I can't believe I found it. This was a total score. I had no idea what I was walking into and this was more than I expected. I found cool vintage 
toys and things like this. And I found a bunch of other vintage things I can't think of right now, but that was awesome. The classic vintage transformer was my favorite. All the antique furniture. This was such a cool surprise, but I'm going to go now because the air in here is disgusting. I've been wearing a mask while filming and for the sake of my lungs, I have to leave. So I think we're done. I think we saw everything. So, so I'm going to go. Bye. Let's give the airplane one last flight. Can I get it to land on the roof? Nope. Okay. We out of here.